Hey everyone, Mitchell Gladstone here, Volume 113 Sports Managing Editor and Men's Basketball Beat Writer for Volume 114 once again. Uh, I am with, here with my bracket, uh, looking ahead to the 2019 NCAA Tournament. Uh, we've got a really you know, interesting set of teams going on uh, in all regions. Uh, West region certainly is most interesting, but we will start in the East with Duke. Uh, so not a whole lot of excitement going on here. Um, like some other people have predicted, I had Yale going through in a first round upset over LSU. The, obviously, the whole situation with Will Wade at LSU um, is creating a lot of turmoil there. And they did not play well in their SEC, uh, I believe it was a semifinal game actually. And I just don't like the way that LSU is looking right now. Yale played a great Ivy tournament. Three, they actually played two really good games um, to win the league's auto bid. I like them getting through the first round, and that's certainly a game against Maryland that can go either way. Uh, I do like Maryland. I think they're pretty talented and a bit under actually. I think they could be very much a five, and uh, Maryland gets a chance to go home-ish, uh, play in front of a crowd in Washington, D.C., along with Duke, Virginia Tech, and Michigan State. Uh, we've talked about this Virginia Tech-Duke matchup ad nauseum. And certainly it's going to be a challenge for Duke. It's a team that they're familiar with. It's beaten them a couple times in the last couple of years. But Duke did not play them with Zion Williamson, uh, even though Justin Robinson will be back. I've got Duke going through. I've got Duke Michigan State in the East Regional Final. And Duke's headed to my Final Four. Clearly just a superior team. They'll get through uh, being going back to Minneapolis for the first time since 2015. Moving down to the West, uh, it's hard for me to pick against Gonzaga. They're a team that I know we've talked about the way they have played against inferior opponents, but they are incredibly talented. We saw what they could do against Duke in Maui, beating them 89-79 in the Maui Invitational Final. I really like Gonzaga to get through the Elite Eight. Um, that's going to be a tough second round matchup against Syracuse, a tough se third or tough uh, Sweet 16 matchup against Florida State, two good ACC teams. But Gonzaga with Killian Tilly is just a great team and a team that we really haven't seen play high-level competition. And there's certainly question marks about how they'll fare, but I've got them going through to the Elite Eight. Uh, nothing really all that I say on the bottom. I actually do look at this Florida-Michigan matchup, a pair of uh, high major teams. Florida really well coached by Mike White, son of Duke Athletic Director Kevin White. I like the way Florida played in the SEC tournament. I could see them pulling off the upset. Um, actually, here I do have them pulled off the upset, uh, and it's really a toss up. You can go either way. Um, I've got them going up with the upset against Michigan. Uh, Texas Tech, though, will take them out in the Sweet 16. And in this game between offense and defense, I'll give the edge to Texas Tech uh, and put them through to Minneapolis. Swimming over to the other side of the bracket, uh, a little bit more chalky, although one team I really like is UC Irvine. Uh, the Anteaters, first off, one of my favorite mascots in the tournament, but the Anteaters also are a great two-point defense, and Kansas State is not a great three-point shooting team. They rely a lot on getting their points in the paint, and Dean Wade, who knows if he will play. He's had a nagging foot injury. If he doesn't play, advantage UC Irvine. I like them, and if there's some chaos with the Wisconsin-Oregon game here, uh, UC Irvine could be a surprise Sweet 16 team, another Cinderella potentially. Uh, but what that all ultimately sets up to is Virginia waltzing through to the uh, Elite Eight. Now, the bottom half of this region, I'm not a huge believer in Tennessee. I know they're really talented. They have two great players in Grant Williams and Admiral Schofield. Uh, but this game is going to be being played at Columbus over the weekend. Uh, Cincinnati is a really good team. We haven't seen as much of them because of their play in the American Athletic Conference. Um, but I think they're a team that could surprise if people will get through to the Sweet 16. Sets up a rematch with Villanova, who I think is gonna pull the upset over Purdue. I know Villanova has been really, really, really up and down, but this is a team that knows how to play the tournament, has two senior leaders in uh, Phil Booth and Eric Paschal, and then you've got Jay Wright as a coach. Uh, this is a good game. I think either of these teams could get to the Elite Eight. Uh, Villanova gets the Elite Eight, but Virginia's just too much. Um, going down to the Midwest, lastly, uh, I love the way North Carolina's playing. Um, as much as I dislike them as a fan, North Carolina is playing like a Final Four team, and they're almost going to get there, but they're not because Kentucky, uh, Kentucky's, well, Kentucky's got a really tough road to. They're going to have to play Wofford. 
a, a great mid-major team. They're going to have to play Iowa State, one of the teams who's just super hot out of the Big 12. Kentucky gets the rematch with UNC, and I just see Kentucky going back to the Final Four. Um, this is a team that is very talented. We saw what they can do against Duke. They'll beat UNC to get to the Final Four. We look at the Final Four. You've got Duke versus Texas Tech. I like Duke in the rematch of the same game from earlier this season. Uh, Duke's offense is just too good for Texas Tech, a team that doesn't score nearly enough points to keep, keep up with Duke. Uh, Virginia and Kentucky. Virginia is a great team, and I just love the way they play. But Kentucky is super talented, too talented for Virginia. Put them in the championship game. We end the season the way we started, Duke, Kentucky, and it ends with the same result. Duke win the national championship, cuts down the nets, sixth national title for the Blue Devils, 80-73, to and that's a racket. So, thanks for watching.